Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I am excited and I hope you're excited as well because it's team of the season, man, and it is here. I know it's different this year, but it's team of the season and I'm excited for it. This loading screen has got us thinking all sorts of things today. I want to talk about that a little bit. You know what? Let's just back out and go in again and check it out. And I want to talk to you guys about the content today, what we could be seeing, and how you could possibly make some coins today on the foot market as well because team of the season day one there's going to be some panic selling i think we might have ourselves a calvin phillips maybe a zaha and i don't know maybe brant for for the card on the right i don't know man it's going to be dope if that is zaha or if that's felipe anderson then they're absolutely juicing some of these cards it is efl and team of the season most consistent or community tots today and there's going to be lots to talk about so i want to talk about it with you guys right now and i want to kind of mention last year as well because a lot of stuff that they did last year could happen this year some of the stuff they did last year we hope that it doesn't happen because there's a lot of miscues last year that i want to talk about as well but you guys have plenty of opportunities to make coins today a lot of people have saved up packs and i want to talk about the pack percentage for these team of the seasons as well so let's start off with the stuff that's going to be in packs tomorrow and that is the new team of the season cards i put this poll out earlier today a couple hours ago basically said um the first time i put it out it wasn't working that's why i said the first sentence but i asked people how many packs they had saved for team of the season because this gives me kind of a you know a base point and see how many people are actually going to be opening packs tomorrow and how many people might still be saving so a lot of people were in the 11 to 30 or 30 plus range for amount of packs that they have saved so that tells me that there's a lot of people on this game right now grinding uh, maybe more of the hardcore base, which is who would be following a guy like me on Twitter or watching this video. But I think a lot of people have packs. And once they see Team of the Seasons, they might not have, you know, the, the gusto to save those cards another week for Prem Tots. Some people will, but a lot of people are going to end up opening packs tomorrow, especially if there's any casuals out there that have saved packs. Um, I think you're going to see a lot of packs open. It happened last year. People thought they were going to save packs for Prem, which people did save packs for Prem. But... People are going to open packs today for most consistent team of the season because it is the start of team of the season. And this is actually a look back on my video a year ago talking about the first day of team of the season and talking about this card right here. And this is the perfect example of what happened last year. First day when these cards came out into packs, right? Toby, Aldo Wyrell, the Spurs, center back, Premier League center back, not an insane card, right? But look at this price. He started in packs right away on friday at basically 216,000 coins and i would have been recording this video about five or six hours after the content would have dropped already up to 264,000. you can kind of see with the graph right here that tells me that i i think it's possible some of these team of the season cards will be cheapest early on within the first hour to hour and a half monitor their price compare their price with their other special cards if they have some and other special cards on this game and um, you might, it's risky. It's risky to try to trade with this stuff. But if you're looking to try a card out today, I wouldn't mind if you buy the card in the first couple hours of lighting rounds, because these cards are going to be supplied boys. They are going to be supplied. And that's one thing that I kind of want to debunk a little bit today is this is also a screenshot last year. And I don't see people talking about this. People keep talking about how, t how rare team of the season cards are going to be. They're not going to be that rare. Now this 21% is from a hundred thousand coin pack. And it's a bit misleading. You're not actually having a 21% chance of, ta of packing a team of the season most consistent card from last year when I took this screenshot. This was a 21% chance of packing a player from team of the season most consistent or team of the season EFL. So the EFL cards are going to get flooded on the market. But you'll be surprised. And as I was watching this video through, I was surprised with how much supply there were. On cards last year like Zlatan Ibrahimovic, right? A 94 or a 95 rated, I think he was. Team of the season card. He was still 1.4, 1.5 million coins. But there was a lot of supply for him for a first day card uh, that is a special card, right? These cards are supplied more than a normal promo team. Um, but they have more hype. So a lot more people want to try them because the stats, of course, as you look at these cards... Are just juiced right this is the foothead vote uh for community team of the season now if you're looking to find a guy like aldo wireld you want to try one out you want to see if he's going to rise or possibly make some coins and try out a card to begin with the thing that's going to make a card 
the lowest and then rise is just hype, right? I see a guy like this Joe Gomez. If he has statistics like this card shows in the prediction here on Foothead, there's going to be a lot of people that would pay a premium price for this card. Uh, and I do think you will see a rise into the evening. Who else might be somebody that people want to try? A Tiago with 80 pace. Yes. A Brant, if they juice him up. Yes. Uh, a Trippier, very possible that people would want to try him out. Zaha, yes. Fernandinho, possibly. Felipe Anderson, yes. Again, the, the guys that you're going to want to try to maybe trade with that are the new TOTS cards uh, are going to be the ones that are going to be hype, right? That a lot of people could just insert into their teams and try them out. So uh, I want you guys to be looking for that if you're interested in Team of the Season cards. But the real way where I think you can make coins today is in two different areas. P out of packs specials. I talk about these cards all the freaking time, but that's because these guys are absolute money makers right these guys are just money waiting to happen look for panic selling this morning and look for panic selling on cards especially that are going to link to any of the new team of the season cards that might be hype if you look at this this prediction squad right do a little bit of research on your own what do we see a lot of in here i see multiple brazilians fernandinho casemiro uh lucas leva felipe anderson right those are some of the guys that are more hyped up and a lot of those brazilians fernandinho and well, at least Fernandinho and Felipe Anderson in, in particular um, are, they're Brazilian in the Prem. There's a lot of Prem in here, a lot of Bundesliga, a lot of La Liga. Spanish links, okay? you, got, you got Grimaldo, Thiago, PK in the starting 11 from this, uh, this, uh, this prediction. So look for link investments, especially to these new team of the season cards. But if there's any panic selling on this market, please... Please, please get involved with that because I do think the market's going to rise today. Last year, there was a lot of panic selling in the morning headed into most consistent team of the season and a massive rebound on meta usable weekend league caliber players after that. I can show you guys in this video. If I clicked around a little bit more, I can probably show you. I think I went over my transfer list. Boom, right here. If I click to this point in the video, I remember I bought this Pugba for 950,000 coins. I bought this Sun. Uh, I don't know if you're going to hear this volume or not. You shouldn't. I bought this Sun for three, uh, 365. I said that in the video. Uh, I bought this Gabriel Jesus for like a 30K undercut. Uh, and I actually bought current Team of the Week cards. That's something that we could talk about at the end as well. But there's going to be panic selling on these meta cards. I remember last year, there was a Messi. It was a Team of the Knockout Stage Messi, a card that had come out just like two or three weeks before Team of the Season. He went from like 1.6 mil to 1.8 mil on that night. Messi's gone from, you know, 1.9, 2 million coins uh, down to 1.5. I see uh, no possible reason why after a little bit of a market rise, if EA doesn't drop something crazy tomorrow in terms of an SBC that would possibly hurt this guy's price. Uh, this is just one example, but I see no reason why this Messi card wouldn't bounce back to like 1.8 you know, 1.6 high or 1.7 mil. I really don't see, I don't think it's too crazy to see almost a 200K rise on some of these cards. Like Messi being back up to 1.7 would not be too out of the ordinary for me. I really think it's possible for a card like this to go up. Again, meta stuff is going to go up. Look, look back through team of the weeks. I've been talking about this a bunch lately, but if you go back and you look through the panic selling tomorrow, the guys that are going to be the best buys that rebound the most is going to be the meta out of packs uh, promo cards that link to new players. Lewandowski is 900k for a live, live headliners card. This Varane has been 800k almost all week, but Walker is down a little bit. I'd be scared for Walker a little bit if Trippier comes out. Telez, I'm a big fan of Telez, right? He links to all those Brazilians. Felipe Anderson soft link. I know it's not a hard link, but he's a Brazilian left back. You could put into those teams and get links with some of those team of the season guys. If you don't have Alexandro, Tellez is fantastic, by the way, in game. Uh, Wijnaldum links to, um, of course, the what, the new Joe Gomez card, if that comes out. Kappa, 118K. This guy's been like 130K all week. That's almost like a no risk investment because, you know, there is a bit of risk there with Trippier coming out. But the, the Spanish links, uh, let's say they give PK, right? They gave PK in this prediction 67 pace, but if they give PK the pace that his scream card had or above, this card could be somebody that just absolutely flies. Because this guy was 160K last week, down to 123, 130s. 
you know, now he's in the teens. So j just look out for panic selling. A Sterling card at like 238, 230s is good for me. A lot of these cards are going to be rising up, especially, again, I talk about the shapeshifters all the time. These guys are going to rise up as well. Uh, just watch for panic this morning, boys. There's going to be a huge opportunity to buy in the panic and sell later on tonight because a lot of people are playing weekend league. The market didn't go up much today. Uh, I was talking to you guys in yesterday's video, right? I said De Bruyne, I could see him going from 95K uh, to like 110. And De Bruyne today didn't even break 100. Uh, I got I got a couple lazy sales on my Thursday flips at uh, like 110K, but De Bruyne is basically the same price. That tells me that this market did not move up much today because not many people were buying cards today. And again, you can see I got a couple of lazy buyers here. Uh, I got a nice 20K lazy on, on Kingsley Coman, but the rest of this stuff was almost just sold at normal prices uh, because today there was just not a lot of buying. And I think we're gonna see the buying that didn't happen today. There was a little bit of buying earlier in the week, but I think we're gonna see that buying happen late tonight. I expect a really nice market rise this evening after the promo packs, two, three hours after that, stuff is going to start to rise up uh, and it's going to rise quick. So get in fast if it's an out of packs special card. Again, I mentioned the shapeshifters a lot, man, like this Conte card. Uh, the center back Conte is like 600, and 600 low right now uh, for this card, which is just crazy because he was 680 uh, just a couple days ago. If I could find this card and actually search him up. Uh, center back Conte right now is 600,000 coins. This guy was like 680 just a couple days ago. It's a very rare card with the position change. Stuff like this, I think, has the chance to do very, very well today. So that's one way you can look to make coins today. The other way is by getting in on some SBC fodder, either today or tomorrow. I do think that you possibly have a chance to get in some SBC fodder. They're going to get pummeled with lightning rounds. Maybe an SBC or two comes out today. I would expect a first day SBC. I don't know how much or how big of an SBC I would expect though, right? Um, the, the the content later or throughout this week has been pretty average at best, um, but I would expect some sort of SBC to start off team of the season. Now last year, I don't know if you guys remember, but there was an issue where EA Sports tweeted out players as a part of the promo team that weren't actually promo team players. Musa Sissoko, on, it was Onana, Sissoko, and Rodri. They tweeted out as part of the promo team and um, misled us by thinking they were in packs when they were actually supposed to be objectives or SBCs later on that week. So if that happens again, you know, EA is probably going to have to compensate us. But last year what happened was they put those guys, they said they were going to be in packs and they actually weren't. So they had, they had to go compensate people. So if you packed Sissoko's gold card, then they would give you the team of the season. So that created a whole interesting scenario. But I do expect to see an objective player today for content. So content-wise today, what am I expecting? A formal announcement on the weekend league rewards being team of the season cards. Uh, of course, the team of the season team. I would expect an SBC or a couple SBCs, maybe a pack SBC for team of the season and then a player SBC. And then uh, a, an objective and other than that, man, it's going to be a, just a hype day. There's going to be a lot of hype around these team of the season cards. You know, last year, I think for Prem Tots, they had like a whole release show. I don't know if they're having that this year, but I think they had that last year. Maybe they'll do that for team of the season Prem and for the leagues. Uh, but I don't think they're having that uh, as of today, at least it seems. So expect lightning rounds, expect stuff that is in packs to take, take a dip in price and out of pack special cards to rise really, really nicely in the evening. If you're into icons, icon sniping is going to be fantastic tomorrow with the basic chemistry style um, on fresh prime and prime moments icons. This is something I love to do with a lot of coins in this game is uh, get on the 59th, set myself a little bit of a filter and just go to town, man. Really just go to town. These filters work wonders if you know the prices of the cards during lightning rounds because uh, you can get some crazy, crazy, crazy deals. Uh, of course, a lot of these cards have dropped a ton. Like this card used to be 1.7, 1.8 mil. He's now 1.3. This guy used to be 1.4. He's now a million coins. So cr you have to know the prices in order to make coins, but there's going to be a lot of cards that pop at the 59th minute on deals because they're going to be listed with a basic chemistry style because they were just packed. So that's, that's some stuff you guys can expect today and to watch out for. Again, if you haven't bought a team yet, uh, and you want to play this weekend league, uh, this this weekend, 
or this time period today is going to be a fantastic, fantastic time to do so, in my opinion. Uh, with these cards getting panic sold this morning, if you want to buy a Messi, if you want to buy a Shapeshifter, uh, anything like that, if it's an out of packs inform, my my advice to you would be get in early, see what you can do, uh, get yourself a deal on some panic, and then watch it rise into the evening as people build teams and play out the weekend league to try to get those red team of the season and team of the season packs from rewards even i'm playing this weekend boys everybody's gonna be on this game this weekend i would not be surprised if the servers went down at some point today as well so watch out for that you know it's probably the inevitable it's gonna happen we'll see and it should be a fun day boys team of the season is here i'm excited if you got your packs loaded up good luck if you're opening packs hope you pack something sick hope you make a lot of coins and we'll be talking about it of course tomorrow everything that happens today we're talking about it tomorrow on another upload on the channel if you enjoyed it today smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate foot accountant catch you guys later peace out